This is T Time One Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Hey guys, I'm all right. How you doing? All right. Why is your home and I'm all right sounding? I don't know. Mm, because I'm all right. Mm. How's your night, though? Amazing. How about yours? Mine was interesting. I mean, we told you what we were going to do, right? We were to turn up. I saw you guys. Though. I saw you. You did not see us anymore. I said I saw you guys. You did not see you us. You were wearing a skimpy red dress. I mean, wearing... anybody would know that if you're on my WhatsApp. So <laughs> I was wearing a skimpy red dress. Okay, did you see us? I actually you saw you, saw you guys. Doing what? Mm -hmm. ha. Do you want me to give out the location? Yes. Yeah. Don't give out the location. Well, Just like, what were we doing? Well, yeah. You turned up for um, a tale of two brothers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and I heard that's the uh, first um, cast party mm -hmm. in Nigeria, yeah. so I think that's a good one. Yeah. So, first story up for conversation is Bella Hadid being declared the most beautiful woman in the world. The supermodel came top list, beating her own sister, Gigi Hadid, as well as Beyonce and Katy Perry. Beyonce came second on the list, ahead of Amber Heard. Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift. Um, Bella Hadid is said to be the winner when all elements of the face were measured for physical perfection. Her chin, eye position, and forehead have been determined as her best features according to the snazzy mapping techniques. Mm. So I feel like I want them to use this technique to check me out, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, it's a good thing. I think it's one of the techniques they use um, for um, cosmetics. For also cosmetic surgeries and all that. So, yeah. yeah. Congratulations to I'm her. I'm just sad for the weekend right now. Why are you sad? They're back together. Mm, they're kind of back together, but you know, they're always on and off and all So, why are you sad for him? I mean... Mm, because um, at the end of the day, maybe f tomorrow you hear the half again. They've been oh, off like seven But then the thing is, we're not even sure if they're officially back, back together. Mm, they say they're back together. Friend. They broke up two months ago. Yeah. Now they're back together again. Mm -hmm. It's not yet confirmed. It just went for a birthday party. And yeah. I mean, no, but even when they said they broke up, was there any confirmation from both of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the there weekend, was. oh, yeah, there was. He came out to say they are over. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because it says something, there's this thing in tweets um, most of the time when bloggers try to like pick his juices, like if you don't hear it from me, then it's not confirmed. Okay. So that's why I said it's not confirmed yet. Mm. People are just guessing because mm. they're the same part. But, I mean, he's still lucky. She was once his <laughs> babe, so. I don't even understand how this conversation <laughs> switched to being lucky and unlucky and sad. <laughs> She's More beautiful. Congratulations. She's and yeah, congratulations. maybe let's just talk about the yeah. list and the mapping technique and what that is doing to the idea of being beautiful. Because are you saying that this list now is different from the Miss World and what beautiful projects yes, we have? Like, definitely. why is it different? What's, what is the advantage of this now, type of list? Now, if people are saying you're the most beautiful person in the world, it doesn't mean it, it meets up with the criteria of the most mm. beautiful woman in the world, mm -hmm. like the beauty pageant. It doesn't mean it meets up with a lot of other criteria, but in this particular instance, um, she's the most beautiful woman in the world, and you just have to go by that. Yeah, we just have if to accept it. Says, um, you're, you're the richest man in the world. It doesn't mean you're the richest man in the world because there are a lot of other richer, richer people than Dangote mm. in Africa. But really? He, yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm, but but that, he's the only one that makes the fob list, and that's the person. Maybe he's record. the only one that has money he can put to documents. Yeah, that he can mm. actually mm. see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but... Good money, right? <laughs> right, that's what mm. like, is saying. Quote and unquote, yeah. mm. there are other people there are other richer people than, richer than, than him, but... I would have loved to see um, this lady on the list, this former Miss Ward, what's her name? The lady that got married to the younger Priyanka guy. Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, I would love to see them carry no, out this technique. I don't think she'll meet up with the most beautiful woman in the world, oh. right here. You know, okay. that, that, that thing, they check the length of your nose mm. and all of that, and she beat um, Beyonce to be And besides that, that she's Caucasian. Um, what's her name? Priyanka is Indian. So Caucasians are more beautiful than Indians? No, I'm just saying that. Um, <laughs> If they want to put up this type of list, they won't put an Indian lady in. Why? In Why? Because um, it's just the politics about the world roads, and you know about the colorism thing and all that. They tell you she's not light enough, she's not this. Priyanka enough. is not light enough. Yeah, she's not light enough. She's I don't think so. I think they just didn't see Yeah, they just, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so. She's a brown thing. Thing. I mean, she was Miss World at mm -hmm. one point, so what happened to the politics of the world at that time? Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, Miss World is different. Um, Advani Darego was Miss World at one time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So. 
Can we just move on? Because <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> get to what you're saying. But moving on, like you said, Justin Bieber joined celebrities getting sued for posting photos of themselves on Instagram. Um, Robot Barbara um, claims to be the rightful owner of a photo Bieber uploaded back in March. The photographer has filed a lawsuit for copyright infringement against Justin, stating he's the author of the photograph and Bieber didn't license the snap from him before posting it on social media, nor did he have the plaintiff's permission or consent to publish the image. Interesting. So. I always find these stories <laughs> interesting. Daddy, I mean, oh. it's your content, right? Uh, but I'm the I'm content. The one, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, they're the owner according to law, so it's just funny. When would this be... Um applicable in Nigeria. It actually is, just mm -hmm. because our law system or Yeah, is that's not what I'm saying. As, like, we have when, will he, like when will our legal system actually work to this level where to people become a photographer. have copyright mm. issues? I'm and getting then there. Yeah, people take, have copyright issues and no, no, like no, no, when you actually take pictures and then you can go against the whiskey for posting that picture. You know, like, um, I know about David O's personal photographer, mm -hmm. Fortune. Fortune. Mm -hmm. He's taking pictures for a whole lot of other people. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to tell me that all those people that post pictures by shots by Fortune uh, got authorization from Fortune. Mm -hmm. They just got the picture. Mm -hmm. They thought it was nice. Oh, it would be nice in my Instagram and they posted it. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. Nigeria is I not was going to say, about yeah, it then. I was going to say in Nigeria, I'm sure it will see it as publicity for his work, so he mm. won't be bothered. He won't want to sue them for content. But that's why you have to look to at the um, one level of this. Yeah, it can. There's a provision for it in the law. No, that's why you have to look at the level of this um, photographer showing these big celebrities. You see that they've been doing a lot of work and they've been working with a lot of other people. They're not just your day-to-day -day photographer that they feel like, oh, you're giving them a platform or it's publicity for them. They have made a name. So if you want to use my picture, you just need to holler at me and let me know that, oh, look, I'm using your picture. I'm going to be giving you $10,000 for using this picture. Are you okay with that? And then they're like, oh, no, 10000 is too small. Let's do fifteen. You understand, and then you guys negotiate, and then you can even agree at eight thousand dollars at the end of the day, and then use that picture. Do you understand? I'm not saying the fee has to be that high, but I think it has gotten to the level where photography has also become a profession, and um, it has a profession. yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, and then people are feeding off that. A lot of people are professional photographers. It's back, it's not like back in the days where people just look at photographers like your regular. The band shit naming ceremony, wedding, that's when we call photographer. Mm -hmm. Now we have people that are out there. <laughs> 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 I don't understand the first part. Photography has always been a profession, <laughs> but, right from um, that. So I don't think it's just about. I don't think it's I'm just about. I'm talking about the standard in which it is seen in the Western world and the standard on which it is seen in Nigeria. A lot of photographers do not even know their value out here. Now you need to understand your value. You know, over there, there are also photographers that. Um, will take a picture of Justin Bieber, for example, mm -hmm. and if Justin Bieber gets to put it on his page, for them, they'll look at it as, wow, that's a publicity yeah, for me. It's all yeah. about, and well, also, it's not just about... The category of this photograph. It's not just about working hard to say, oh, you've gained a name for yourself. I mean, it's also about the system and how it works. When you look at the entertainment industry, there is a place for everybody, including mm. the photographers, the person that is carrying the camera. Like, your job is defined and your job is respected and is valued. So, um, even these photographers, they have like a body, they have like a, 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 an office where people have to go in to mm. say, I want to do this, or you have, they have the managers, they have like yeah, a proper system around mm -hmm. them. So right here, I also said that it's not like we don't have these laws, mm -hmm. but sometimes when you think about the fact that when you go to the court of law, you sue someone, you probably have to drag it for a very long time, and there is possibility of corruption That's coming it, into play. That's take you, you know? serious. So <laughs> sometimes, I mean, we have big photographers that mm. be making big money. I know of a photographer that for him to take your pre-wedding shoot, you're talking about nothing less than 10 million naira. I mean, fortune is even so, a big photographer There are himself. people that are making this money also, but it's just about how the system is here right now. It will mm. get better. At the same time, like I said, there are also photographers over there that if a Bieber posts their picture, they'll be so I'm blown, I'm fine. It. It's about mm. you understanding mm. where you are and what the laws can do for you mm. and try. This is a picture of his match. What was he doing? Mm. Why did you just realize that I can make money from this? Just, Somebody probably just told him. Pointed that, it to yeah, you. Yeah, you can you make know, money. So right. It's just what it says, I think.
basically. Mm, but now let the law take its course because if you take somebody's content without mm. their um, permission. permission, I mean, you have to pay well, for I it. Well, I don't know how this thing works because um, with Ariana Grande, we never heard anything after um, the, they they could settle out of court. court. Yeah. yeah, so mostly they settle out of court. So if you see, if you say, let's watch this space, you may never see this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But we never can tell. Photographer can be very stubborn. Mm. Mm. Well, let's hope this one will make an example out of them. Mm. All right. Uh, moving on. Manhattan prosecutors are accusing Cuba Gooding Jr. of asking a woman to sit on his face and to pee in his mouth. <laughs> According to new court papers, the woman in one of the total of 14 accusers alleged um, sexual misconduct by Cuba. So I think the story is becoming more twisted mm. than there are 14 people now, although 12 of them have the, um, the, the prosecutors are still asking the judge to admit their own cases Case, so that yeah. it can be handled together or something. But this particular one says she's just going into the <laughs> um, mm. restroom and then he's somewhere by the side gripping her hand and like she wants him to stay off and then he makes this statement and I'm wondering. That's most of them's story. <laughs> they're just on their own and then he comes off. Mm -hmm. grab their and they're saying that that's like a pattern. Mm. So they want, to, yeah. they want to win the case. But I think he first talked about this uh, when the news broke, when mm. they can actually use the pattern of his behavior mm. to determine if he was guilty or not. So. I don't know. But With all these stories, it's yeah. looking like he's guilty because 14 different women, no, different be looking like he's guilty. For, well, to get 14 since, different um, women is not what's difficult, it's called? I'm sorry. Since Weinstein, <laughs> since Harvey Weinstein's um, case started mm. the Me Too movement, mm. a lot of women have been taken advantage. Sorry, sorry, no disrespect to all the women out there, and especially the innocent ones. Mm. There are a lot of innocent women out there. But there are a lot of other women that just want to take advantage of the fact that these guys are celebrities and the fact that they see that they see one case. Everybody mm. wants to jump on the Me Too movement. Some of them for publicity because the moment you start talking about them, they get they start getting called for interviews. Mm. Tell us your side of the story. Tell mm -hmm. us this. Tell us that. And they're making cash out of it, even if they're telling the truth or not. These days, you do not know. I'm not saying Cuba is. In a sense. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that um, it's actually difficult since um, the Me Too movement started to know who is actually saying the truth and who is not saying the truth. So I wish another movement will start that would actually be for innocent women. I think would... Cuba's lawyer, is it Cuba's lawyer yeah, who tried to Cuba's start a movement? Yeah, yeah. Not, 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 not me too. But not me too. It did not get the attention that me too movement got. Um, but mm. now that this is getting about 14 women coming against this guy, and um, I don't I don't know, I, for some reason, I think I just have too much respect for this man that to I don't think see that somebody that right. would want people to come and pee in his mouth. Like, <laughs> no, he can't want no, people, people to pee in his mouth. That's different, though, but just groping people anywhere, anywhere. at it's the club, so rude and lounge. It's wrong. I mean, is he lacking women in his life? <laughs> you understand? It's cool. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't know. I just have too much respect for his... Maybe his movies. Don't let me say his personality because mm. I haven't met him one on one. But I think in his movies, he, he plays the best roles. He um, portrays the character just the way you want to see. He's a very you, good actor. He's a very good actor. So it's just very strange when such things come up and they say that, oh, this guy is this, this guy is that. It's very. I, I mean, don't know. it's not, to me, it's not strange because you just you see, see them like that. No. I don't see men like that. Of course, uh. not all men like, are like that. But I mean, people do things secretly. People have their brain are just, their just mind is just acts. messed up. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. they have a lot of things going on. They think, wow, they just see somebody and they're attracted and they just want to, at that moment, that's how they feel. They just want to touch that person, but it's wrong. I mean, what's the personal space? Why people you, you don't know just before. just want to touch somebody, like, it's a different thing if you're like, um, well, they don't take jokes over there. Because I know Even that. Here. No, How can you even be joking with joking people? I mean, no, I know, I know, I know, I know that there are guys out here that just joke with you and they just say, ah, baby, me, this, this, that. Ah, you know, what's that? Before you know baby it, baby, me, respect you know, yourself. You know, before you know it, things are going down, and then you guys oh, wow. are laughing about it, and then we just make it look ordinary. But um, over there, they don't take such things kindly. Like you make such comments, and then that's sexual harassment. You, I mean, I say you make such comments, you make certain comments, mm. and uh, they're like, that's certain harassment. I can, no, please don't, don't sue me. I can be don't, like, don't, just move that way. I don't understand. 
I can be like, okay, maybe we need to oh, move on. you guys are wearing a very beautiful dress. It's popping out right here. And then a woman gets offended over mm, there. Well, well, there's nothing offensive in that one. Oh, that's what you think. That's what I'm saying. I was going to say, if she thinks it's offensive, it's, well, it's that's what she thinks. When I say it's popping out there, the popping. and then they, you know, they're like, I'm saying it's popping out there, but the and color then my of the dress eyes is not popping. are looking. No, no, no. If you are no, saying no. it's popping, yeah. then it means you're looking at right. something else. Yeah, my eyes are looking. That's the but is the color of the dress popping? If it's not popping, then No, the color doesn't matter. It's where my eyes are facing. Like, they will tell you that. Okay, well, where you're, oh. if, if there's a video that is showing where your eyes is facing, fair, you pay for it. I'm not facing any Zimio. I'm looking at <laughs> It's popping out here. Yeah. <laughs> the camera on the sound, I'm saying. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> let's Thank move on. You. Moving on. Nicki Minaj announces collaboration with British um, pop singer Adele. Now, I think that has also been debunked because. Mm. Um, we saw her shut down the rumor with a tweet saying she was only being sarcastic. sarcastic. So I think people that were excited at the first one. I mean, people I was like excited. Me, right? <laughs> you can bring the uh, excitement, but you I think that she might want to make it work. You know, uh, yeah, I, I feel she, she will try. Work. But then she said she was um, retiring. retiring from music, so maybe this would be like a checkout kind of thing. Maybe if she's able to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now that they um, broke this up and um, she has debunked it as a rumor, I think um, this is actually the right time to actually jump on this project because mm. I think you're going to make a lot of money from it because a lot of publicity has gone into it already without you even doing it. Doing it. Even if it's just a remix. Like, or even if it's just a remix or something or a cover or something with Adele, I can bet you it's going to hit the um, top 100 billboard chart. I know Adele is not um, an artist that is used to doing collaboration with people, mm -hmm. so this would be like a big deal. Mm -hmm. I think that's why it was even and a big deal when the news broke. A female mm -hmm. rapper, do you Girl power, you know. Yeah. It would be interesting they should do this for us, at least for the fans. Do it. Was, we're already yeah, excited. Like to see Adele and Nicki Minaj. Oh, yes. I'd love to see what they'll create. I'm oh, sure yeah? it's been magic. Mm -hmm. What about Cardi B and um, Nicki? <laughs> if they want to. Not, we are not so excited. I mean, <laughs> I'm not so excited <laughs> about it. Like if they fine, want to, fine. If they want to, fine. That's their business. Steph mm. London and Cardi. Yeah, Steph London is coming to Nigeria. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Voiced so. Man is coming to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Maze is coming to Nigeria. Uh, David uh, says Chris coming. Brown is coming. 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 Yeah. Mm. Chris Brown is coming to Nigeria. I need to ask the back to 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 the point. Let me just the back to 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 to the very, I don't know, story. I'm owing my personal shopper 4.5 million naira for two bags. So this is coming from Tuntu DK. So um, she put out a post. Um, um, I think someone was asking if she's part of those living the fake mm -hmm. life, and she's saying, okay, so this is what I'm doing. So um, she also said she will pay boo, right? I don't know how you owe for 4.5 million naira for. She a said, um, I, I I bought an iPhone 11. I, I bought three iPhone. It. I see displayed it. Mm. Don't worry, I'll pay. I think she just said it because she knows that they might call her out soon. No, I feel like it's not true. She just said it. I think it's it. true. Mm. I think it's true. I mean, she said it, so... I believe it's true. I believe it's true. Ah. But I think she she's doing this to save herself. I yeah, feel okay. like there was she a can't. conversation that went down, and she just feels like she wants to acknowledge that she's owing. But my question, I don't know, is the Inyado celebrity stories out? Yeah. It's already played. No, no, so no, no, about, no, it's, it's not out. out. Okay, so she talked about video. something that has to do with fake this life. Um, kind of, um, not even speak, fake life, fake life. managing your finances and, managing and living mm -hmm. according to your means. Yeah. And she talked about how someone came to give her. But Let me not speak all right. Then, no, was, she no, said yeah, which then. is why she was <laughs> saying that you have to still live within your means and also know when you are entitled or okay, able so to let's afford spill something. It. Let's actually spill it so because I have a lot of Please. Hold on. No, no, we're not if, if you are, if you have to owe for a 4.5 million in a bank, then maybe you cannot afford it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then if you're carrying a bag um, or two bags worth 4.5 million, so let's do an estimate. Let's say one is 2 million and one is 2.5, mm -hmm. right? 
Now, if you are carrying a two million naira bag, please, how much do you have in that bag? That's my question. No, I'm not even bothered about no, 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 whether no, no, you no. can carry it or I don't, not. I don't That's know it. why I'm whatever you have, Whatever you want to spend your money on is your business, but make sure mm -hmm. you can afford it. Because yeah, if you are because old, if it reminds me of a tweet I also saw where a, a lady was advising business owners and small business mm -hmm. owners that they should not be too quick to sell um, their products or their goods to celebrities and rich people. Because rich people, yeah. they are the real debtors. Yeah. Imagine owing mm -hmm. one person 4.5 million naira. And How much is the person's capital of a goodness? You know the right? thing, because you have this feeling that they have the money. Mm -hmm. Do you pay. understand? Mm -hmm. They will pay. They too, they will take and then they will not start pushing. Until... In fact, they can even yell at you. I'm in a meeting. I'm, I'm very busy. busy right now. Can I you call me money. back? I mean, while well, they're not doing anything, but they will just that use that uh, packaging for you yeah. to make you look like, oh, I'm a very. And then you too, you know what I'm saying? That, ah, Nice well, I'm why sorry, should I'm I have called at this mm. time mm -hmm. again? Ah, she's probably on set. Well, I don't know why. Maybe because on this um, Tonto DK story, mm -hmm. I follow her on Instagram mm -hmm. and I know how she can just post really dramatic stuff to get mm -hmm. on attention. the end. Like, yeah, to get mm -hmm. attention. The cloud chaser. You mm -hmm. know, after the post, I think she, after this post, she even wrote that um, um, she's a shameless woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you come and say anything, it's your business. That's why I think that's that what it's I just think. a joke. She just posted. No, 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 that's no. to show you that no, she's not joking. I feel like. No, that, no, no. I feel like that's she's why actually going, and then it's, of course she will it's, pay becoming, up it's becoming a drama, mm. a kind of drama. So before they call me out, mm. eh, mm. let me just put it out there that look, I'm going for 0.5 million there mm. for bags before this. So imagine so, if she wanted to drag her, she has sent a message and said, if you don't pay me, I'm going to post social media. And the person has posted it herself to say, I'm owing. I'm owing. Please, how else do you want to drag her? You put it on social media, people will be like, yeah, but she has already she has told us she's going to pay you. Pay you. No. you. Hey, yeah, you that. think if somebody comes, if that person actually comes out and drag Tonto DK, you think what Nigerians will say is we already know? A lot of they, people that have seen see, this story will say they already know. Yeah. No, no the thing is, they have drag 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 There are good number of people that have not seen this. People will just say that, oh, the next thing people will start saying that, oh, that's why she came out to say the other time. Because you're owing people. Do you understand? So at that point, she's still getting dragged. It's not going to save her. Knowing Tonto DK, like you said, the dragon is not going to bother her. Yeah, she's a shameless woman. <laughs> so that, uh, that's why I feel like she doesn't have to come out and defend herself if anybody's dragging to, to DK. No, like, she, she won't she let you get to that doing. level. See, don't, don't play she's a shameless right. woman. Well, I she's just don't think this right. is yeah. true. Or she's I see, there's about no it. shame involved. Like, see, let me live the fake life. Let me do what I cannot afford. Let me drag my ex I have to be turning over like let one me, billion to let me be, five let billion. Let me do that, you understand? Apart from being a cloud chaser, I feel like she's one of those Nigerian celebrities that do not really give a hoot about what anyone thinks about them. Mm. And they do exactly what they want, whether or not they are celebrities. I feel Tonto DK is the kind of person that will walk into a booker and go and eat. Mm. And then she really want to post, but she will take selfie. Ha! It's in. No, that one is our new Habalis. Tony Abraham, she's one that will do that one. Tonto DK. No, no, don't, 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 don't even post stuff like that. Please, tell, me, tell me about that. Our time is up, but you need to go to her page. Oh, to find wow, out. okay. <laughs> That's how it all falls. No, no, no. When you are dealing with herbs, you are called a herbalist. Oh, okay. I mean, we need to understand English. She's working with herbalists. Oh, she's working with them. Yeah, that's what she's working with them. Yeah, that's what she's working with them. Yeah, but that's what she's working with them. Anyway, that's how wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ewa Ritu and Feli Washington. And of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.